All right, welcome to Matt Does Math, and here we are in Matt's kitchen. And this is what we do when he's not doing math. This is what Matt is doing when he's not doing math. So today I got a little thing. I was working in my beehive, and uh, I ended up having to uh, remove some comb. And so what you'll see in here is a little bit of comb that I was able to remove from here. And my little uh, bees gave me this beautiful gift in here. And you'll notice that they are all full of my little... Uh, bee babies that are in here. Um, now, Peter, don't you come chasing me with your leather Birkenstocks on now because we're gonna eat these things. Now, um, so this is just something I found on the internet that I just wanted to try and I had some extra um, bee comb sitting in there um, that I ended up having to cut out. And what you'll see in here is you'll see that wax and it's really neat. You'll see uh, pockets of pollen in there. You'll see the bee larva, and then you'll see that sweet goodness and some of those little honey pockets that are in there. Now, if you look right in here, you can actually pick them out. And there's some of those great, great little larva that's in there uh, kind of crawling around. Um, we're gonna use a recipe that's got some banana leaves, but we're gonna replace it with hostas because yes, you can use my hostas and place banana leaves. And we're gonna be taking out some of these pieces and uh, cutting them up just a little bit and finding some fine larva to look at. So all we're gonna do is square it off into a nice rectangle. Mmm, look at that larva get caught up. We're gonna go ahead and trim it off just a little bit. You can see some of that juice just piling around there. Mmm, heaven. And we're gonna be making little tiny piles, little tiny squares of comb, and we're gonna be rolling it up in that hosta. Because it's going to be in the video. Oh, I think we should put the inside of the refrigerator in the video too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Matt Does Mass Cooking Show. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take these. I went ahead and set my stove here at 375. Got it for 12 minutes. Um, and uh, I am ready to throw these in. Let's go ahead and start that. Oh, not the microwave, but let's go ahead and set that in there. And we're going to catch them going. I got them in those hostas. And just kidding, I already cooked these things. Boom, they're already done. So let's go ahead and pull them out. A right, little Rachel Ray action over right there, actually. So now I'm going to pull these things out. Um, and we're going to see exactly what it is that they look and taste like. I'm pretty excited about this. I know everybody else in this room is pretty excited about this as well. So um, let's see here. You wanna, Jules, you wanna come over here and try one of these? Sure. Okay, here comes Julie Does Nursing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try a little bite of this. Look at that, does that look fantastic or what? Oh my goodness, oh man, that looks amazing. So I'm super excited about trying this. I'm gonna try it. Would you like to try a little bit of it with sure, me? Sure, I'll try. Um, should be pretty daggone good. I'm getting in there. I'm super excited. All right, here we go. Mmm. 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 That's really good. I'll tell you what something about this. It tastes a little bit sweet. It tastes a little beefy. Maybe has a different flavor than I'm used to. Maybe it's got some, uh, you can taste the pollen packets. You can kind of taste the larva in there. Um, it's got a great, great texture. A little different than I'm used to doing. Um, but yeah, really good. I hope you all try this out if you got any hives. Ooh. I'm kind of thirsty too.